All right, now let's talk about fighting with the rear naked choke from the strong side or overhook side. Uh, we talked about this a little bit in the, um, the back defense video. If I'm on my triceps here, Good so in other words, if my shoulder's on the mat, it's gonna be pretty tough for me to get this. We can hand fight using some of the similar methods, in particular that uh, gable grip style, um, like wrist compromise action. So I, I don't wanna say it's not possible, but if Rory really kind of dedicated to holding this, even if I'm able, yeah, like it's much harder because of the limited um, articulation that I've got uh, with my shoulder uh, and elbow kind of being trapped against the ground. It's very hard for me to get that. Uh, again, like we, we can get into different methods, but my life is just gonna be so much easier if I'm on my elbow here because Rory's ability to grip me defensively is extremely compromised. If we sit up for a second, as we talked about, like his ideal defensive grip looks like that. And he's got a ton of uh, lever control because the lever from my elbow to my wrist is, well, under his control. Whereas we have even just the same position and I start to go back oh, and then down the ground. You can see how his arms come away from his body. I can barely grab your wrist. Yeah, so like basically his arms are now acting as levers against him rather than the other way around. So I can push this hand off much easier. He's, uh, if my right arm is doing the choke, his left arm is the cross arm and it's blocking here. So I do wanna get rid of that before I try to shoot the choke. And I'm, literally all I'm doing is just, again, C or V grip, whatever letter you prefer. And I'm pushing that away. If I'm not strong enough to push it away because he's too isometrically strong, I can reach around the bottom edge of the hand and pull it up ah. and then push it away. So either way, uh, it's, it's, it's rare that you can't just push someone's hand off from here. You've got a pretty strong like bench press motion from here. Uh, but again, if you can't, this is fine. Now his other arm is kind of, I can't really like do he's barely even here. able to grip me. But like, let's say, I'll just give him a little bit more, but I should now be able to punch through by going from my elbow to my shoulder. So I start here and then I punch my arm through either under his chin or as we talked about in the rear naked choke video, if he's tucked his chin in, I will punch that right through over his jaw and I won't care. I've moved this arm away. Now you're gonna get into this annoying battle where some people who are quite isometrically strong are just like, no, I'm not gonna let go of your hand. When this occurs, we're gonna use our knee. So my top hooking leg, my left leg, we're gonna use our knee or our thigh to wedge this arm out of the way as we pull this arm back. And now I'm just gonna remove my head from Rory's head for a moment. I was breaking his posture here with my head. I'm gonna remove it for a moment and I'm gonna punch my arm diagonally across. It's really important when we do this that we not reach out in front because again, we're giving the strong lever access to our partner. So my arm was underneath his arm. I've hooked the, this bone back here called the scapula. I've covered that with my chin because he may reach up and try to pull my arm off. So this protects it. If I keep my head away, he can reach up and potentially pull my wrist down. So I've covered that to eliminate that option. I've used my thigh or my knee to open up the space. And now just momentarily, I'm gonna punch through and then finish just as we talked about in the rear naked choke video. Let's just show a little angle of that knee bumping my elbow again. So if I got myself here and Rory's death gripping it, I can even remove my hook and place my foot on his hip for additional base to push his leg away, but most of the time you should be able to either bump straight up, which changes the angle of his elbow, like he wants to keep it tight to his body. As I push up with my thigh, that drives his elbow up and creates a more open space under here. So I'm either going up and pulling out, or I'm using my uh, shin or my knee uh, as a wedge, using my left foot on his hip to enable that as I pull out and finish on the choke there. So just so that you've got some ammunition for those obnoxious people who are like, no, I'll take my ball and go home.